a van. It's been a boxy hero for generations. Building cities, hauling stuff to and fro, and even helping us relax after a hard day of doing those other two things. Ooh. But without a couple of competitive Germans and a lot of beer, the van wouldn't even exist. In 1896, automotive pioneer Gottlieb Daimler, tired of tired horses, slapped a gasoline engine on a cart. He had invented the first truck, which turned out to be a pretty big deal. Seeing an opportunity, Carl Ben stuck a box on the back of his truck, and voila, the van was born. Daimler upped the cargo-carrying arms race by adding more power and bringing them across the pond. A few years later, the two companies created by those competitive Germans merged, setting up a company built for van innovations. By the 1970s, the van craze was in full swing. There were van rallies and van meetups, where van people would talk shag carpets and CB radios, and even solved crimes with them. Vans became an important role in culture with vans that look like dogs. Vans that transport crack commando units who survive as soldiers of fortune, and vans owned by guys who bet they can throw a football over them mountains. And if it wasn't for vans, some of us might not be here right now, and we certainly wouldn't be receiving deliveries. Vans bring flowers on Mother's Day, ice cream on the 4th of July, and emergency cable TV repair on Super Bowl Sunday. Sunday. All thanks to a couple of competitive Germans, some beer, and two very appreciative horses.